meeting is called to order. Please, everyone, please join us for the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's from 
the people that did it for years and years and years. And the, the original you, you might get a kick out of it or find some <laughs> different twists or insight by just using that. Not, not to make it your newsletter, but just to uh, get, get, get a feel from right, the yeah. two groups before that have done it. I was going to ask about that, but I figured I'd get the first one out first since we're looking at having it done yeah, yeah. by the end of the month. So, a little bit of a rush on this one. Okay. There, there is a placeholder on the town website that we populated with newsletters once we got the website. Okay. So, when this goes out, we should also make a copy for the website. Yes. And then, PDF. think me and yeah. Cassandra will work on that. Yep. Um, oh, we we yeah. appreciate we appreciate you taking this on, and if uh, feel free if you want to build a team or get any cohorts to uh, help out with it. It doesn't have to be a one-person show, although we can. It's up to you. We'll, we'll see moving forward. I'm not sure. Um, I'm kind of hoping I'd be able to do a shorter version uh, on a monthly basis. That like we could just have a couple here that people can pick up when they're here and maybe on the website just to keep people up to date with the, what's going on in town or like I just saw Wakefield's doing sign-ups for ski season, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but that's tentative. I don't know that I will be able to also do that. We'll see. Yeah, um, whatever you can do, we appreciate it. All right. Thanks for doing it. You're welcome. And of course, I'll make sure everything's cleared by all of you before I just go doing anything. Okay. No swearing. <laughs> Not too much. <laughs> Tell clerk. Um, I just had the warrant for the um, Board of Selectmen to notify the townspeople of the general, the New Hampshire State General Election on November the 8th. Um, the polls will be open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, there is a, a constitutional amendment question on the um, ballot this year. Um, the ballots are posted on the website along with that amendment and also on the um, board out here and in the kiosk. Um, so I just wanted to present that to you at the side and I'll get it posted in the great position. Karen, can you email me all that please so I can write in the newsletter? I don't know that it would go up. I think it's not. Yeah, I think we'll have the election before the newsletter. Okay, we'll never find that. For the town vote. Yes. <coughs> and there are two places to sign. One is for posting it and one is for notice. Thank you. Tax Collective Planning Board. Planning Board met last Monday. Work on zoning. And setbacks, etc. Anything else? Gravel pits. Gravel pits. Gravel pits. Both were inspected, they said. Treasurer? Um, yes. Um, we have ordered the computers and received everything that we ordered. Um, the uh, IT people will be here tomorrow to start setting them up. Um, the only thing we're waiting on is the server, and that has um, been ordered by Cybertron, and that should be here in another week. Um, and they'll just um, start installing. This will go like you said, they're just going to spread everything out and stuff. That's what he, his plan is. To, um, um, I think he's bringing two or three people tomorrow yep. and, and getting them set up. Um, uh, I was wondering about um, update on the keys. What would, if Cassandra might have an update on that. Me too. Um, I called Steve's lock shop. And they were closed last week for vacation, so they reopened their office yesterday, and so I'll call tomorrow and see if I can gather a price on uh, 
coded keypad entry versus getting 30 keys made. Okay. And then we move from there. So I'll have another update next meeting. Thank you. Um, I wanted to tell you that the interest rate at um, New Hampshire um, positive pool is 3.09 now, so it keeps going up, which is good for us because that's where I'm putting most of the money right now. Also, um, DRA, I checked uh, again today, and I did call Michelle Clark, but didn't get the message. The 434 is still pending. The, that's the review of the um, revised revenues. So once that is done, then I should be able to get moving on the tax rate, but I'll keep on it. Um, and that is all I have. Quick question, on the new statement from Profile, yeah. we have the check number, but then they have check number over counter check. you know what the over counter check means? No, we've been... Like it's matching, it looks like our regular printed checks, but it didn't know if it meant... I think it's when, I could be wrong, but I've noticed that too, I think it's when someone goes into the bank, I'm not really sure. But we also, like our receipts are different, uh, sometimes it's a little confusing, the receipts. Uh -huh. Yeah, they pull out, if it's a profile check when I deposit, yep. they pull them out separately, or they and do they, that. they account for them separately, um, because I guess they don't process them through to the other banks, uh -huh. is all I can think of, but they, we get two um, deposits, yes. we get the profile deposit and the other deposit for all the other banks. It's not a big deal, I just was curious if there was a reason why they call it over a kind of check. were wondering that, I mean... Uh, because Susan the checks and I were the checks match all up. They're the same yeah. working check. That's just curious. Oh, thank you. It's a new system, I guess. You yeah. Know, I don't know what I'm sure they have a reason. When we go in, I'll ask. Okay. Moderator. Supervisor of the checklist. Cemetery trustees. We have a letter from the trustees to whom it may concern. The cemetery trustees would like the selectman to appoint Pam Skeffington as a cemetery trustee to replace Craig Evans, who resigned on September 30th, 2022. Pam's appointment would expire March 2024. Many thanks for your consideration of this matter. Roberta Holland, Carrie Neilhouse, cemetery trustees. I move that we appoint Pam as a cemetery trustee to replace Craig. Second. Back to the meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 So on the cemetery trustees, the, the lawn on the left side of the cemetery looks like it is doing well. Yeah. Growing really nice. Trustees of the trust fund. Yeah, we met this, oh, I'm sorry. No, um, we met this past week, um, and we had an online conference with Bar Harbor Bank, the wealth management company. Um, the uh, trustees have agreed that we're going to utilize Bar Harbor to process our MS-9s and 10s. It's an annual fee of $1,000. Um, they're also going to keep a monthly um, book for us. We'll be able to go ahead and see our, our return. Um, Right now, there's still, you know, obviously stocks are taking a beating across the board, um, but our capital fund is actually the least impacted because it's heavy into um, into bonds. Um, in the town approved that the Bar Harbor will have access to the portal to upload the docs, but ultimately any docs that get signed off will be signed off by the trustees and. Um, I think that's it. Did, is this organization replacing the charter, or is it is it in addition to charter? Do you know? Um, no. Well, Bar Harbor is managing all. Is has been our wealth management. They they monitor it, and I think Charter holds the money. But Bar Harbor is almost like our um, they're our wealth management company. So they move the money as they see fit. They try to keep it as lucrative as possible. And I had a request from um, Meg Ingalls to, for the trustees to meet with me in the beginning of November to um, decide on, um, not decide on, but to tr transfer of the monies. Yeah, they wanted to do it a month earlier than normal yeah. just in case there's any last minute fixes. Right. And the only thing we're pulling out is for the book, right? 
That's the only. That's the only. Actually, the only one. Yeah, because we didn't do any road work and That's nothing right. else. We the work in the town. In. So it's a small pole, a big deposit. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, town archivist. Road agent. Uh, all the road signs that we got, uh, they're put up. So um, all the ones that we ordered for the street signs, speed limit signs, stop signs are missing. As far as I know, everything is up now, unless somebody finds something that's not up. Um, put a couple loads of salt in the shed there, a couple loads of sand, and uh, started working on Tumble Down Dick Road. Thank you. There was a sign for Moose View. It's up. It's up. They, yeah. said, they said they would pay for that. So when you get okay. out, I guess we'll see the invoice come yeah. in. I think you, did you give me yeah. that? Yeah, it should, be, it should be there. So you put a sign oh. all a sign and a post. Oh. And some labor. Yep. So this would say, is it Moose? Yep. If you make a copy of it, that'd be fine. Would you make, we'll make a copy of that. Yep, and I'll yeah. give her a tweak. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Something to think about for when the snow melts, Chris, while it's on. Yeah. <laughs> when the snow melts, you get a ways for that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, um, we were trying to get a few lines, center lines, painted on some of the streets. Okay. Particularly. Moose Mountain from the keep right sign to the keep right sign over the blind hill. Uh, Ghani Road, there's a, there's a couple of three blind corners over there. Just some okay. sections. As, as you see fit, I, I don't recall any others at the moment, but those two roads in particular. Clock Road, the shop corner. Yep. Just to give people an indication where this side of the road is. Uh, that that sharp corner on Clark Road, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything we can do, but it's. Uh, I mean, I can. I'll get it mowed, but it's. It is a very blind corner, and uh, it would be nice maybe at some point if we could cut that bank and back so you'd have a little bit of a line of sight. Because you know, I, I don't even think mowing really is going to do much because it's just so. No, the bank is so high. It's, yeah. it's totally blind, like you said. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people that walk there, too, and if they don't go to the outside of that corner, I don't care if you go five miles an hour, you come around the corner and they're right there, you know, so. But. Especially if you're being pushed by a lot of coming traffic, <laughs> yeah. getting close. Yeah. But those are, those are spots that, that we have talked about in the past that, you know, uh, there was no throughput on it. So just saying that to just get it on your mind and come up with a plan. Okay. And uh, we'll look for that in the spring. Uh, at the same time, probably repaint all the stop lines to green yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Did, did you say we got the speed limit signs in, in the row? The, yep. Yeah, uh, the one for Bryce Drive, that was the important one, and it's up. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Yep. Emergency management. Forest fire warden. Building Code and Enforcement, Conservation Commission, Heritage Commission. There's a meeting coming up. Do you have a date on that, Cassandra? Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. What? Wednesday? Yes. It was tomorrow? It was postponed from tomorrow to next yeah. Wednesday. That will be the 26th. That sounds right. Thank you. Health officer. Fed loss management. All the meetings required for the year have been completed. Yes, they have. And we're working on those action items on security. Yep. The last one is the keypad. Excellent. Four keys. We just have, we'll have to make that decision based on price. And all the meeting minutes have been logged in the book. Thank you. Assessing. Communications committee. 
I wrote a blurb for the newsletter, given the, the status of the of the deployment up here on 109. Uh, bottom line is, it, we're waiting for Breeze Line now. All the all the preliminary work's been done, and Breeze Line is trying to get a, a, a uh, start date from the subcontractor that's going to put the backbone in. Thank you. Grant review. Temple monitor, travel monitor, ZBA, no meeting schedule. Old business. Oh, we, yeah. Uh, we're working on the budget. That's a continuation of old business. Anything else? Carrying? This list of committees is, is, is pretty long. Some are, I think, are effectively inactive. Um, one that jumps out to me is that that grant review committee. Do, do we want to disband that? We haven't. We've never had a. We've never, they've never had a meeting as far as I know. Okay. Well, this is good. This is why we listed every single one of them. So over time, we see. Who comes here and, and it, it brings to our attention what's active and what isn't. Do, do we want to keep a grant review committee or do we want to just take it down and, and reform it when there's activity? I don't think they ever met. I think it was a reaction to uh, some, some federal money that was available and, and people said well, we're going to review the grant and it never happened. So I would suggest we just we disbanded. Can I suggest we ask what the one member of the committee that's that's left? Here? Is that you? <laughs> the group did meet three different sections, and we also sent to the selectmen a process that the department should use when they're going to apply for grants. And then our members kind of have disappeared. So I was actually going to ask you if somebody else would like to join. I don't think we could just have two people. The main purpose of the grant review committee was just to make sure that uh, there's a process that departments will use when they come in and um, apply for grants so you're not, you know, approached at the last minute to get a grant. I recall that process that you guys did, and it's here somewhere. Yes, it's that, that's what we were working on first. Are, are you the only member of that there, or is well, that, uh, It was Ed Mason and um, Mary Lou McLean. I'd be glad to join that if, if when the need arises, and then see if Ed or Mary Lou want to still participate as the need arises. See, my intention was is to have that process in place, right. so at least it be something that can be followed, and then it can be triggered and only used when they have a grant. That's all. It's for. So when one come, comes in, we look at the application, look at the money where it's coming from, and and if there's any t future tax impacts or anything else, etc. That's all it's for. It's just so you're not caught off guard at the last minute. Yeah, but sometimes we're trying to read this at the table. It's not really, I remember that's what kind of prompted it. We were getting grants and we're like, you know, we we're trying to read them live. And so it'd be good if someone could delve in, which the committee could all separately delve in and then have a quick meeting and then give us an update. Now, I know already the state law states that you're supposed to meet once a month. I understand that. But we start to lose our, our people. So. But, but is the work done then? You've come up with the process? Yes, I put that in your mailbox. Yeah, we have the... So, so the, the work is done of the grant review committee? Well, you have to agree that that's the process you want to follow and it should be pre presented to you in a, in a public meeting so you can make the decision if that's what you want to do. Because that the way it was set up, the grant review committee would go through the processes that they created then presented to us so we then can make an informed call out on one accept it or not. You know, I, I don't even remember if I don't think there was even a part within the process where the grant review committee said, you know, favor or not favor, they just gave you the it was facts only. And then we made the and then we would make the in more a more informed call and we'd have, you know, at least the basis for what we'd want to do with it. <clears throat> so I thought it makes it makes sense to keep it in in intact. And when the next grant comes in, you know, other than block grants and whatnot that are very simplistic, you know, I would think we could, that we could, it would just, we could 
meet. The first step was the first step was the process. Yeah. And if that's all that you wanted to have done, it's just so you have a process to follow to have department heads go out for grants, then that would be fine. If you wanted to uh, have a specific, let's say a department head came in and you had, not only did you want to follow the process, but you had a lot of questions about that specific grant, then you could trigger the grant review committee and have them look through it and see and give you a report, which isn't necessary for every single grant, like the, the highway law grant and everything else. But, you know, too many times I've seen department heads come in here and ask for uh, you to sign on to a grant that night. And it should be that way. The county also follows the, uh, the process that I, that I showed you, or that I left in your mailbox as a preliminary. So then that begs the question, what's the next step? We have to review that process and, and agree to it? Yes. Is that, is that where we stand? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I'd suggest I suggest that, that we review that process okay. and accept it or reject it at the next meeting. Okay. And keep the grant review committee intact and just put it to sleep until we need to use that process and we can test it. Okay. So who's got that action item for the next meeting? Who's going to lead that discussion? We mean lead the discussion about the, what the grant the process, review no, process, process is. Yeah. Well, I could show you, we could go through it. You could put it on the agenda and talk about the process. So you, you, you're going you're gonna to lead that discussion? Sure. Okay, that's fine. Next meeting. Okay, grab review on the agenda. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Any others? Funds and opportunities. Emergency management, we're going. We'll leave that there until the hazard mitigation, everything going through Wakefield. Do we want to keep that emergency management in Brookfield or rely on Wakefield? Well, it's our, it's going to be, it's our, it's our plan it's just developed with Wakefield. Okay. I'm okay with the rest of it then. Okay. I skip new business. Here are done carrying items. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, I know. I'm going to use it as a Any carrying items? Okay. Do we, uh, no non public tonight? I'll turn it off. Budget. Let's do some budget then. Do you want to do the bills or do you want to do um, the budget? <laughs> Well, we got to do them both. What do you want to do first? I don't care. Let's get the bills out of the way. Okay. Okay, so we purchased the um, computers and the printers uh, through Amazon Business. We were, um, we have a line of credit of up to $10,000, and our um, equipment costs $9,303. So, um, anyway, uh, we have that bill um, for tonight's approval. CIA. CAI Technologies for Tax Map Maintenance, $237.50. Um, to a reimbursement for me for um, some trash bags that I bought and postage, um, $30.53. Now, Cybertron has um, billed us for the server, which is $7,500, and they have billed us for um, a, uh, the, the labor fee of $10,000. I recommend that you know we hold that check until they have got everything um, completed. Or I just I, I know they've been making advance and I don't really feel good about that, but at the same time we could hold it until they have everything set up. I pay for the hardware. If, if they want the hardware, I pay for that. So if the rest of the whole we want the hardware with the Amazon. Except for the server, the server they bought. Okay. Yeah, the server and the, there was two pieces to it. One was seventy-five hundred, and the other was twenty-five hundred. It's not delivered yet. Yeah. You want to pay for it? Do we have a good question? Do we, have, we didn't get an input. I, I, 
copy of the that, that. Oh. We're buying it from them, so yeah. I don't I'm sure about that. But anyway, I'll go to Okay. Long Meadow um, fire signs for the townhouse of $11.97. Osby aggregates for is it Crush Stone, Chris, that you bought? Uh, Crush Bank Brown. $308.21. Um, I need a roll of stamps for $60. We said to him, we $60. Um, Royal Turf and Pick. Um, $775 for fall seating. That's the cemetery. Right, yes. <coughs> Spectrum, $84.98. Um, Staples, $176.75 was for paper and some supplies. Uh, Town of Wakefield, $120,231.49. That's the third quarter. Game Electric, $215 for a service call on the generator. Um, Kindle Construction, $4,526. That's for up uh, uh, through the 16th. And another one for Kindle, $3,488.56. That one was through the 9th. Cybertron also purchased uh, or bought for us a new switch for that back room. Uh, $225. He's bringing that tomorrow. I move we accept the bills as well. Sorry? Accept the side of the Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I had yeah, issues. Accept the side of the trunk as well. Yeah. Yeah, so don't sign um, or sign that, but we'll, I won't do the don't check. Don't check. Yeah. So the total of those bills um, as presented $159,675. Back up to um, cemetery trustees before we get into everything. They submitted their budget for uh, 2023 budget. Did you get that? I do have that, yeah. Okay. So we approved that motion. We're going to approve yes, that. we did. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, I guess we did. Do it twice. All in favor? No, we did it. <laughs> Do it three times. Thank you. So you're going to leave us. 
just again with the okay. ones that we Why don't, um, I, don't, I don't know where you want to start. If you want to, um, we filled in, let's see, um, town clerk, we've done supervisors of the checklist. I, I don't think we had those last time, though. Um, My colleagues, you can you can challenge their numbers, right? If if we if we had how many elections we have this year? Three or four? Um, One, two, three, four. So that was for forty two hundred dollars. So if you have one next year, it should be a quarter of that amount. It's not a quarter; it's close to a half. Town meeting, primary, general election this year. And also, I have been approved to take the certification class, which is $300. Um, and I what, I'm not sure about the um, where, how we're doing this IT support, whether we're going to, whether it's Cybertron is going to, what their cost, annual cost is going to be, and where we put that. Yeah, I would strike that from your budget. In, in the past, we wanted, to, we wanted to push it to each department. Okay. Because okay. some departments require a lot more attention than others. Yeah. So we'll just, I think we should just put that in our It's one lump, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um. So the big question is the 14000 right? That's correct. Plus 11721 for a clerk, same thing. Um, because Karen is software is, um, Avatar is what Karen's leaning towards, um, which will, which they use for tax money. They don't, Avatar doesn't have a, a financial software package. So that's why MTS is um, municipal services is the one that I looked at and is the most reasonable. You gotta tell us what it does. It will, it will do, I don't even know where to begin. It will integrate all the accounts. So I don't, I won't have to take things from um, and, and create spreadsheets. It'll that'll all be taken care of. It'll post automatically. There won't be a risk of 
error as much as there is right now. It'll do the payroll. It'll provide um, a much better monthly report. I have to take the figures from QuickBooks and input them into um, uh, Excel manually. Manually. So it will eliminate all of that. I, I have a question. Yeah. Does Microsoft have something similar to QuickBooks that will talk to Excel? I have no idea on that. I, I don't know. This is a government accounting software package. Um, QuickBooks, government accounting software, or this? No, the new one. The new one. Yeah. Where did you get this information about this company? Well, I asked the auditors. They gave me um, two companies. One was um, MTS, and the other one was, um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. But um, the other one is also based, I think, in New Hampshire, but it's extremely expensive. They, they've been around a long time. MTS is um, Municipal Services. They're fairly new, um, but they only do New Hampshire municipalities. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I, I wasn't really prepared to address it tonight for some reason, but um, Can it's, you'll, you'll, it's... I'll ask you another question. Yeah. Because we're not ready. Okay. What's the ongoing maintenance? It's, it would be probably 2000 a year annually for maintenance, just because that would be the updates and any support that I needed. But um. so Let's leave it in and see where we come I was just going to say, why don't we leave these things in almost as like our, call it wish list budget, and see where we're at. I don't, I don't know, not that I'm saying yay or nay, it sounds like this would be a useful tool. And, no, it would integrate all, all the budgets, the subject, the payroll, and it, we'd eliminate a lot of this human error, data entry error, so I get it, you know, and then, you know, so let's see what we come up with the final number, and, you know, if we need to start doing car routes, and we can start to look at software as a potential car area. One of the things it'll do is, like, um, they, all the different funds that we have should have their own fund in the system. In QuickBooks, it really gets a little tricky keeping track of each fund and how each fund has to pay the other, or it's, it's, a, it's kind of a mix where this a software, a municipality software, will keep the funds separate and it's much more manageable and clean. And, yeah. Is the QuickBooks you use, I, I've never touched QuickBooks, but is it the same QuickBooks that? Someone would use at home, or yeah. is it an advanced Chris uses version? Yeah, you know, it's and that's the other thing is we do need to upgrade if we do keep it um, because it's an older version. Yeah, you know, Chris uses QuickBooks. Um, a lot of businesses use it. Okay. Yep. Will it allow Karen's software to share financial data for direct input into the software? Um, to a certain extent. Yeah, we've, um, Karen and I have talked about that to a certain extent, it will. Okay. What about the tax collector? Do they have any software issues? Um, Karen, I mean, uh, Diana uses Avatar, mm -hmm. and they're happy with Avatar, and Karen is looking into Avatar for her. What will Avatar do for you, Karen? It's much more integrated into one system. Right now, I'm using two different applications, um, and the the user support has not been um, quite quite up to expectations. Um, so I'm hoping, and, and I'm hoping too that we might be able to bundle our service contract, since we'll have three different um, modules. But then we'll all be integrated into the same financial package, except it won't um, necessarily integrate with. So I was going to jump ahead to see your budget before you left. Oh, and it's, uh, it's on the first page. Salary to So then your your new software costs twelve thousand, eleven thousand seven hundred, whatever. I I do want to say um, that's a wish list 
And having gone to the conference, I do have to say, um, having visited both vendors, I think there are a lot of things that haven't been updated with our existing um, software. And there are some integrations and some online dashboards that we might be able to make it much um, more efficient and user-friendly and be able to develop one treasurer's report. Right now, there's certain items that I don't even put into the software, so I don't have one complete treasurer's report. It's kind of pulled from different pieces and it's still not completely automated. So um, having talked to the vendor, there are some things that we may be able to put into place. So that may increase the service contract for the existing one, and I need to find out what that will be, but it definitely would be better than purchasing a whole new um, application. So I'm, I'm kind of looking at it, the different options to make it effective and efficient and still save the town some money. I think when we talk about, you know, that it's integrated, it means that we don't have to take, I spend a great deal of time taking information from one place and putting it in another. And this would, um, my software would be extremely helpful. But, um, you know, we can, we can live along with QuickBooks again, you know, but I think eventually we're going to have to upgrade something. Somewhere along the line, we're going to have to upgrade. Okay. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let's go. Tax collector is right on the treasurer on page two. Um, well, that's figures that Anne gave me. Anna gave me. Skipped on repair of building runs. Did I? I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. I see we'll leave that at 3,000. It's fine. And 
and you know, building maintenance again. I, I, there's nothing huge anticipated, so I think 3,000. Would, would be only like your, um, like, the servicing, the servicing of um, the generator or anything like that? Yeah, a water heater goes or something yeah. like on those lines. The power washer. Yeah, the building to saw is a new roof on this one, huh? Yeah. New roof on both? Yeah. New roof on three of them. So shoveling and mowing, we spent, that's who knows, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we spent $1,083 um, so far this year. That was probably from the beginning, you know, the spring. Yeah. So, the, so the question is, are we going to ask uh, Steve to do the plowing here and open this up? And we, the reason we went that way is because with, with the road agent working on the roads and trying to open this facility up, there was a conflict of what are you going to work on the roads or, or the, the, front, the front walkway. So we we spun that off and asked Steve to come in and take care of this and take it off the road agent's plate. Comments? You okay with that? I guess uh, <clears throat> either way, I guess it's fine with me. I don't see that it's a huge undertaking to plow this parking lot. I mean, the amount of times you have to drive past here, you yep. either go to the sand and salt. The idea of coming in and going around the buildings and making sure it's plowed up doesn't seem like a monumental task to me. He gets out of his truck and shovels up the doorways and the walls and stuff like that. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, that's... Um, it, shoveling adds, adds to it, but I'm saying that if it's the plowing part of it, I don't see that as a, as a big deal. But if you want to include the plowing with the shoveling, I understand that too. Makes sense. Because you get the shovel into the generator and into the propane tanks, we need that. You know, the you know the walkway is easy. I get that. That takes two minutes. You know, but the back, the back ramp and the, the back ramp, the front stairs over here. The generator. The generator, and the, the propane. It's, like that, that shovel can get pretty. You know, that could take an hour or two if you get a big storm and it's heavy and wet. Steve's got a snowball. And so Steve has a snowball. I, I just assume keep Chris on the road. Okay. You know, and, and you know, we, if for some reason he comes by and it's not opened up and he wants to hit it, just, you know, I, I'm, that's great. But you know, but for the most part, you know, well, let's do this. Let's have Cassandra confirm with Steve that he's going to be able to do it, right? I will. Do it. I have a phone call that's due to go out to him tomorrow, so I'll throw that in there. Cool. All right. Just make sure he knows about all all the shoveling because I don't think last year we were doing the. I don't think the generator got done with probably things. Something didn't get done, but okay. last year was not a very snowy year, you know, so. Yeah, let's hope it's not this year. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so three, three front doors, the ramp, and the, uh, the, path, and the path to the generator. Is there somewhere else over The propane tanks. The one tank we filled. Yeah, it's like you kind of go at an angle and then you cut up, so it's like one path you just make. But, you know. So, so. then would Chris plow the no, the back parking lot where people get sand and stuff like that from there. Steve will take care of this. Okay. Is the sand the sand still going to be coming out from there versus um, next? For park? public use, will be over here still okay. for the you know for the foreseeable future, right? Got to wave another place. Yeah. Okay. We had talked, Chris, about putting a spot that's on Jersey Barriers or something down. Towards the front of the uh, mm -hmm. ga gating for you to protect your assets, and then have an area out front between the street and the gate where we can dump the sand, similar to what Wakefield does. Okay. And if we have that down there, we, we don't have to shuttle down to this building here. Yeah, so we can work on it. It'd have to be something covered uh -huh. to for it to make sense, but um, yeah, we can come up with something. Right. I think that'd be that'd be a good spring project. We need to build something like that. Yeah, I don't think it, 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 I don't think it's a priority because we can use this again. This is yeah. fine. It's doing the trick. And but, yeah, maybe maybe, right. maybe next year or something because uh, there's a bunch of cleanup and stuff that needs to be done up there. Make a spot for it. There's there's trees to be cut up there. You know, just to yeah. widen open things back up. Uh, so let's um, 
let's plan for summertime next year to uh, on improvements on the salt area to make it more accessible. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, so we're going down the list. So show the electricity. We're going to leave that at seven. Is that going to be enough? I think so. It's going. Yeah. Telephone. Live alone, I guess. Web support. All right. Oh, that, that's civic. Civic is 1653 and positive creation solutions 190. So would one of those go away? With? The 190 would go away. Okay. That's, we'll leave it in there until okay. it goes away. That's for the, that's for the email addresses. Okay. okay. So do you think, is this where Cybertron, and we would put that support or, I mean, we, we, we paid them 5000 we were working off of that. I have no idea how much is left of that. Wait, wait let's look for our budget leader, please. So would it be... Um, yeah, on the first page. Under mm -hmm. By town contracts IT, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We didn't. On page one. Did we do that budget yet? No. Yeah. No, we haven't done yours. Okay. So we'll do that later. Okay. So, so what does that mean? Uh, web support stays... We'll delete that number alone, but I think it's going to come down if we, if we, if we, if we make this migration. Okay. Town known properties. And we, we didn't touch it. We don't own it. I put it down right. to 2000 wow. And that's in case we own something. Yeah. You mean like some of those trucks? No, some like a property. We have to, if we if we take a property, oh, 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 oh. we have to maintain it and pay the insurance. And I don't think anything. I don't know what's up for Dini. Don't know. Everything comes dangerously close, and then it always seems to <laughs> go away. <laughs> Unless it's land, that's what happens. That's so, right. So it's going to stay there because we can't predict it. That's right. Are we paying any extra for Drew Farm? Those. That's the land. That's land. It's just land. Yeah, it's land. That's when you take a house, that you have to make sure you, you don't trash it. Uh, okay. Under the cemeteries. So um, what are we going to do with that? Oh, I believe. Just leave it too. Leave it. Leave it too. Okay. Okay. Cemeteries underneath of it. Now, what they gave me. If you look at your cemetery budget. Um, I was trying to figure out um, the care of town cemeteries. They have. Um, is it all of that? The eight fourteen thousand eight hundred fifty all under this. Where do you want me to put that? We have to get them to use the official subcategories that the state requires us to use. Yeah. If you look at that, uh, do you have it, um, Ryan? Yes. Okay. You have this from the yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know if that care for the new town cemetery or that's the. That's both yeah, new and old. So, so we, we take responsibility for some of this and then use their funds for some as well, right? Oh, I didn't understand you. I'm sorry. They have funds by selling lots. Yes. That goes to some great trust accounts. But I don't think that goes to paying these this here. You have to look at how that one article was written, right? Mm -hmm. So we got to look at this. I, I, I think this is all in the operating budget and nothing stands out. Is it all part of um, the... Well, it wouldn't, the site work is already done, am I correct? In yeah. the budget it says site work. So that wording should probably be changed to care of the town cemetery. Well, you, got, will be you, got, you got the, the, the care of the town cemetery, right? And I think most of this, if not all of this, well, where's training? The training's well, got to be pulled out. We've got 350 for training. The rest, the rest goes into care of town cemeteries, I believe. Yeah. Yes, but it would be, see there's like two lines there, the top one, care of town cemeteries, and then the 503, which is Care for Newtown Cemetery. You see it? Yes. So which which goes where?
He's marked for close lenses for the new. Lawnet Memorial is still part of the new cemetery. The gate is part of the new. The post and gates is part of the new. The, the trees is part of the new. World turf, I believe, is all new. Yep. And then just the care of all the new is kind of like that. You can split it. Yep. So you want to put the 2500 under that on the first line? Yeah, put the 2500 on the first line. And then take out the 350 because that's training. So yep. 2500 comes out in the 350. So 14850 minus some stuff. 2500 and minus 350. So 12,000. 12,000 goes in under um, care of New Cemetery. Okay. okay. That brings it to 14,850. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, I put on the page five, I put the insurance in there. Um, I don't know what that regional association is. We always put a dollar in there. Okay. <laughs> And then archival Craig gave me. Um, there, there is a state law. But if, if we have zero in it, I don't. Yep, we can't spend. We can't spend. So we put dollars, but we're not sure. Yep. Okay, archival um, Craig gave me those figures. Um, under the file project labor, he said there was about a half year remaining, so he dropped that down to 4000 Okay. Um, so really, he almost cut that in half. <coughs> All right. So we'll leave that alone right now. Yeah. I don't have Wakefield figures nope. yet. Forest. You, I'm sorry. you might have to take a look at some of Yeah, I think that probably would. Um, forestry, um, he kept it the same. And then I have nothing from um, building inspection. The well, time being, you probably carry those numbers for the most part. His biggest thing is the salary, and then right. we, we don't really even use much admin. Um, right. This is a minor expense account. I carry more. Okay. Um, emergency management. Yeah, so, okay, then we come to um, highways and streets. Let's do the easy one first because we don't have an idea of winter. So we have something like, let's see, we have 80 and 30, 110 in there for this year. So just the cost of stuff going up, labor and salt and material. I mean, that's... I put a note there that we spent $10,914 in salt last year. That's last year or this year? Last year. No, I'm sorry. That would be, I'm sorry, that would be... Um, year to date? Yeah, year to date. But the price did go up significantly, too, so... Yeah, you got to figure out all, all that stuff's going to... So, so everything's gone up for, for plowing, so it's just a case of what's the percentage of the we want to put on it. You know, we're at buck 10, I'd I, I do at least buck 40, buck 50. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, there's no way of predicting, but I mean, just 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 this week, diesel went up a dollar. So I mean, it can happen so fast. And uh, I mean, every, everything across the board. I was just looking at some different prices on materials and stuff. Every year, it's jumping, you know, a lot of money per ton on these materials, and uh, it's not going to go down. I don't think so. I think I think that's a safe bet. And don't forget, we'll be carrying over the. Um the block grant money that we received, that additional money, mm -hmm. the 15000 and the $28,000, um, we'll, that will be deferred from this year because we're not spending it, so we'll be, we have to add that into our expenses and our revenue. Right, right, offset. Yeah. So, we're at 40, 50% for this year. Because last year was a light year, snow and snow wise, and we spent 107 already. And last year was a very, very, you know, pretty so it was late in early year, right? We didn't spend. And it wasn't that much. We didn't have any big storms, so I, I wouldn't go about fifty. How do you split it? Mm -hmm. how, do you, how, do you, how do you split that from? Um, I would probably go hundred on 
charges of 50 on material. Say that again. I'd, me, I'd go 100 on charges and 50 on material. For summer or winter? winter. For summer. I mean, for winter. Then we can move that around. Yeah, so that, that's really those it. Those numbers are just. All right, tell me again. I'm sorry. So for winter, yeah. for road agent charges, $100,000. Okay. Materials would be $50,000. Okay. okay. That's, that's my okay. input line for planning. I'd go 120, 40%. On the 100, you make the 100. The 80, you make 80 and 30. That's what we're looking at, right? Yep. Yeah. So you want to go higher than that? Yeah, 150. Wait a minute. Yeah, I did. 100. Because they did 150. That's 150. Do you want to go 160? 160. You want to go 60 on materials? Yep. Okay. Well, wait a minute. 120 and. One twenty and forty. One twenty on road agent charges. Yep. And and forty on Material. materials. That that becomes one sixty, and we have. Do you want to write it down? Oh, so sure. Okay. So that's that, that is the top one. So that that is the top one. That's, that's just a swag. I mean, oh yeah, it's, okay. it's, uh, that's why it's you know, your numbers just do the name by its number, right? Right. But now we can talk about what what's on the plate for some uh, I'll know better after this week. Uh, I'm meeting with a couple different people to get some numbers on paving and also some numbers on uh, placing material gravel on some of these dirt roads because there's no material. I don't know when the last time gravel was put on these roads, but I mean, there's zero material on these roads. It's just rocks. And yeah, you can dig the rocks out and you can make them smoother, but you're already four feet below the rest of the ground around you. So um, that's one of the things I think it, it just has to get done. Um, and I prefer to do it the right way. And that would be to put in a good road base and then a, a finer material on top to, so that it's maintainable. So the material charge, I think, is where we're going to see a, an increase here. Um, I'll, I'll have better numbers maybe for the next meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah, rush it. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather make a better guess than... Yeah, so you get some better data. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So we'll hold off on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Wakefield, again, um, solid waste. I'll get the figures from them. Um, I haven't gotten any requests on the... Northern Human Services, uh, oh I did, I, I'm sorry, Northern Services State Level Funding. Central VNA, I got, I haven't had a request, Meals on Wheels. Um, okay. Or welfare. Well, do, you we'll, wanna, do you want to leave the welfare at 10,000? Yep. We'll wait and see what we get for, for grants. Okay. Um, and then down the bottom, CAP. Food pantry and no word yet. No. Yeah, so it comes in. Okay. okay um, now I was going to ask you about the parks and rec for Wolfboro. I I haven't received any requests for that money. You want me to? No, you will. Oh. At the very end of the year, it's actually going to be Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, I don't know about the library. It's Fourteen. Stay at fourteen. It stays the same. They, they, every now and then they try to inch up, but we just keep holding okay. firm. Okay. And then Heritage, um, she did give me uh, those figures. She did go up on the workshop and activities. Um, she called it immense, 1500. Do you know what the events are? You're the heritage. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, no, no, I, I think you weren't. I oh, oh, I think you were. I'm sorry, I thought you were. No, I thought you were. No, because the last we're doing. You're doing a breakfast. The breakfast this year. This year. I'm looking at next year. Is it next year? The anniversary. Well, she. She. She gave a pretty long talk last meeting. I'm trying to remember what. 
Twitter. That was Windows. She was talking about Windows. Yeah, we need no, she was talking about some sort of anniversary coming up. Okay. She said it's the 200th anniversary of, of the finished building. The building, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it was the windows to replace the uh, repairing the windows. That was the big discussion. Yeah, but she talked about events, though. I remember she talked about stuff coming up. She said she wasn't right. sure yet what events they want to hold, though. Right, right, right. right. Except for the breakfast in December. Of the building. Well, you're meeting with Okay. So we're going to get right that. You want clarification? A little bit. I mean, in the overall scheme of things, it's not. No, 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 it's not going hard a while, but it's well, we should understand it. Okay. Well, conservation's the same. You want to leave the two? Yeah, years. they're active again. I'd leave it. Okay. Okay, um, we won't have purchase of town land this year. Right. You are. Yeah. And then, um... Can you pay for five along the very end? Good. Let's get started. Okay, so then we have the capitals. Yep. We have to do Capital. more, aren't we? Yeah. But we'll know more when we get paging numbers, too. Yep. yep. That's it. The rest are transfers. Okay, we didn't do um, the selections on the first page. Expenses all. Town meeting expenses? Select the expenses. Oh, yes. Um, sure. 250. I don't know where the 388 came from. Um, I was going to ask that. I did a printout. Um, you know, we, we, we bought lights. You know, we put oh, yeah. miscellaneous bills in for, for light bulbs and flag. Um, a flag, a couple of flags of those. Oh, yeah. Okay, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those, those are File boxes. Perambulation for the Wakefield Brookfield line? Or can we put 
a marker? No one's barking at us on it, so I don't know. I understand. Wakefield, Brookfield's an easy one. It's Brookfield, Middleton. The Middleton one, the socks. Okay, yeah, it was the Middleton one, too. Yeah, I understand the laws need to be changed. They're proposing a new law because now we have GPS. I say that they're, they're, they're supposed to be left the GPS. You don't have to walk it anymore. No, the old days of walking in front of the markers is going to probably go. It's a fun yeah. walk. Uh, I'm sure it is. So, I don't know where we spent 117. I just Jen, we, we gave Jen some extra money in the end. For doing the formulation. We did. We did. I suggested it. I thought it didn't go through. It didn't go through? No. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see what we spent. No, no, no. Okay. You were on the right track. Or is that what we paid her? Um, we no, sent copies to all the towns. Was that it? I, I don't know. I just, oh, I don't, oh, it's, not, it's $117. I don't know where we spent the money. And contingency, I'd leave it 5000 Yeah. Okay. You can do revenue next time, too. Well. Yeah, sure. And I don't know how we, I don't know how we take the money that we're going to encumber for, from the road work and, mm -hmm. sh and show that in our budget. Well, it's going to, it's going to be definitely on the revenue side, and it's going to be in your. Um, so we just add it, or is it added already? How do we differentiate? No. We'll, we'll put it on the revenue side. Oh, I understand that. Okay, and then it'll be in. You know, just mix it into your. Um, it's operating. Yeah, right, operating. Right, right, right. That's how I would imagine it. It'll it's just operating. balance, balance out. But we don't want to put it out. My dear, I didn't talk about we'll do it. We'll do a. I'm sure there'll be an entry that the auditors will um, yeah, yeah, break the, it out. But it, yeah, but as far as budget wise, right, right, right. Okay. Anything else? We just had to start thinking about water bills. Yes. Uh, start thinking about. I, mean, I, I don't mind doing them. I just wanted to accept them. Well, we, which ones were we putting in, right? We just started ranking them up. Which ones we do? We'll have some of the typical ones and then we'll do the planning board ones and um Okay. Meeting at 
Sure. Yes. Seven nineteen.